OK then, let's take a look at the third and final task and this is um, the text synthesis. So you need to look at information from both texts to be able to complete this. And you look at it and you think, oh this is quite easy, all it is is a little gap fill. Look, I just need to find one word here, one word there. Um, please don't think of it like this, please give this um, enough time because actually you need to have um, a good understanding of both texts to be able to get this, um, to be able to complete it. Okay. So, let's think about how we can answer this. All right, we know both texts now. One of them was the sort of general history of South Africa trade and uh, resources. And the other was a specific look at um, the Anglo-American Corporation, which is one of the companies, companies that, one of the big sort of companies doing business in South Africa during its history. So, um, this task is going to reflect both of those texts. Now, let's take a look. Okay, it's organized into three paragraphs. So what we need to do is think about what information we're finding in each of these paragraphs. Okay, so paragraph number one, South Africa's history. Now immediately that tells me this is probably from the first text. Okay, this is going to be some general background information about the country's history. Alright, so yep, South Africa, sort of going back in time we have this is going to be chronological and at the end we've got 1800s here. So this is going to be sort of the early part of the history in the text. Um, in the next part, okay, after this time, so chronologically this is a bit later in history, look, going up to the 1900s. So again, this might be from the first text, okay, there's some talk about the Dutch here, this, the foundation of the Republic, yep, okay, so all of these might come from the first text. Okay. Ah, look. Okay, in the final of these paragraphs, we've got talk of the Anglo-American Corporation. That's the first time we've seen this discussed. So, there's a good possibility that only this paragraph is talking about ideas from that text. All right. So, let's let's just view this task from that perspective. Okay. So, what are we going to do? Um, my advice is to look through it all and then to, to look at the gap and try to make a question and the gap is the answer to your question. Okay, so conflict between races was observed in the late 16th century when somebody started to trade with European ships at the Cape of Good Hope. Alright, so who? Who started to trade with European ships at the Cape of Good Hope at this time? Let's go down the text. Late, late 16th century, 1590s, Koi herders. Okay, racial conflict at this time. So these people started to trade with Europeans then. Okay, so that's your answer for number one. Number two, the slave trade ended in 1807. So we've got the time marker. That should help us find. And slavery was eventually something in the 1830s. Okay. So, my question here, what happened to slavery in the 1830s? Okay, let's go and find the answer. Ah, so we had 1807, the slave trade ended, and slavery was something in the 1830s abolished. Okay, so that's our answer for number two. What happened to slavery in the 1830s? It was abolished. On to the next paragraph. Okay. A dispute. What's a dispute? It's a disagreement, a conflict, two, two groups, two people, two things fighting against each other between something and the Dutch. Okay. So a dispute between the Dutch and who happened at this time. Okay. And the dispute was about new laws protecting the black population. So which two people, which two countries were having a dispute? Let's go and have a look. Ah, okay. Dutch settlers resented. If you resent something, it means you dislike it. It makes you unhappy. Okay, about the British government's interference. Okay, they didn't want to conform to the new laws. Okay, so the Dutch and the British were fighting. Okay, so disputes between... The British and the Dutch. There we 
we go. All right, later on in history, so we're looking at the early 1900s. The state of peace saw who take control as they were the majority white population. Okay, number four. All right, so we have that information about the war. The British won the war, but the British lost the peace. Okay, why? Okay, because Dutch settlers, one possible answer, or Afrikaners, were the majority white population. So again, which group of people? So we'll look at our question. The state of peace saw who take control? The Dutch settlers, because they were the majority white population. Now, we've had four questions from that first text, so our idea that these questions were from the Anglo-American Corporation text is probably correct. Okay. So let's have a look at number five. In the mining industry, there is always what? about tasks based on race, with the black workers at the bottom digging the dirt. There was always what? Okay, so let's go down. Okay. From the start, there was always a hierarchy of tasks based on race. Dirt diggers were at the bottom, and they were the blacks, and then it changed according to skin color, unfortunately. Okay, so hierarchy is the word we're looking for there. Now, on to our final question. Oh, doesn't time fly when you're having fun? All right, okay. Ah, so we're going... We had early 1900s. This was going back towards the mining of the 1800s. In the years after World War II, that's a good time marker, the company gave to support to what? Black unions and gave something for housing, education and training. Okay, so... What did, what did they give for housing, education, and training? Okay, here we are. They provided funding for housing, education, and training. There we go. So funding is the answer we're looking for. Okay, I, um, I hope this has helped you to find the answers and understand why you were such a brilliant student who found all of the correct answers immediately. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Come back again soon for more reading exam materials. Okay. Oh, I finished. No, no, it's okay. I finished. Okay. I need to look through this very quickly. Do you have the time? Yeah, yeah. Articles. I don't.